Hello everyone and welcome back. The tenth season is coming up real soon here. The snow should be gone up there. I'll be able to drive in. And one great recipe is calico beans. If you guys don't even really much care for beans, if you've never made calico beans, they are really good. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make a batch and then tomorrow I'm going to can them so that I can bring them up and just have pint jars of them. And then up at the tent I always bring up you know, pork steaks or hamburgers or whatever, and I can just open up a jar and use that as a side. You'll see a list of all the ingredients here in a couple minutes. Uh, the first thing you need to do is brown one pound of ground beef, and then we're going to fry up a half a pound of bacon. And I'm just doing this tonight because I'm bored. Tomorrow I'm going to just going to heat this up, get it into the jars and can it. But um, anyway, here's the hamburger, and the bacon's coming up next. Since I'm going to be canning this in a pressure canner, I would not have even had to brown this beef. Actually, I'm cooking this hamburger down. But look at all that fat. we got to dump all that fat out of there. We're going to have a really hard time getting our jars to seal. And it'll just be a, you know, a much better product. Okay, so regardless if you're doing this to just cook the recipe, which I suggest you try, or if you're going to can it, either way we need to drain all that fat out of there. Okay, so while that's draining down, you need to get a half a pound of bacon, get it cut up into pieces, and we're going to throw that in the fry pan and get the fat out of this as well. Okay, so I'm going to get this drained down, and right now I'm going to put up the recipe showing you everything you need for this recipe. Okay everyone, well, there's the meat part of it right there. If you were going to be actually just be making this meal to eat it, you would have put this into a slow cooker. We'll come back tomorrow. I'll show you exactly how to make the meal. It is so delicious. And then we're going to go ahead and can this. Okay everyone, well, we're back here. And uh, you've seen in that recipe it calls for one medium onion. Usually, I just completely forgot about this, usually I would just throw this in with the hamburger or whatever and fry it up, but you just need to get this to sweat down and get it browned before you throw it in there. So I'm going to cut this up, we're going to brown this up, and then we're going to throw it into that same pot. Okay, so to the pot of our bacon and our hamburger and our onions that we have all fried up now, we're going to add one can of kidney beans. You can do them dark or light, it doesn't matter. One can of pork and beans. And these are just the 15 or 16 ounce or 15.5 ounce cans, nothing real big. One can of lima beans. And one can of butter beans. Since I'm going to can this, I actually could have done all this with just dry beans. I wouldn't have had to have the cans or anything like that. The problem is this recipe I think tastes so good and you're not supposed to let any of the, of the liquid out. You put the liquid and the beans into the pot and I don't really know how you would get enough liquid or how many beans are in a pork and beans can. You know what I mean? So I just dump it in like this, uh, make the recipe, and then I just can it. Okay, now we're going to add a half of a cup of ketchup. After that, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and I don't uh, pack it down hard, I don't leave it side, I would say that I lightly pack it. Then you add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground mustard, one teaspoon of black pepper, and two teaspoons of vinegar, just regular old white vinegar. Okay, so now we want to mix this up real good, and now if you're, like we're going to can this now, but if we weren't going to can this, you would have put all of this into your slow cooker, and you just put it on high for about an hour, then dump it down to low and let it run for, I don't know, a total of six hours, 
uh, five or six hours and it's done and it's great. So if that's all you wanted to know is how to make calico beans, there it is, enjoy it. Otherwise, stay uh, with me here and we're gonna can this up. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take, I'm just heat this up right now and just get it to simmer for, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes just to get everything together and nice and warm. Now that those are heating up, it's time to put your water in your pressure canner here. I always put about two and a half inches in the bottom and let that come to a boil. Okay, so now I got the beans all heated up here. I've got my lids and, um, and bands are heating up here so they're soft. Uh, there's no reason to sterilize your jars when I'm going to be doing it for 90 minutes in the pressure canner. Uh, it'll kill everything, so we're just about ready to do the jars. Okay, I filled up all the jars. I left about one inch of head space on these because there's going to be some expansion in there. Now it's time to put on the lids. Just like with everything else you can, you just put this on finger tight like that. jars are all in. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes so it all gets up to the right temperature. Then we'll put the cap on and let it vent out some steam. Okay, now I'm just going to wait until that is really blowing steam out and let it blow steam for 10 whole minutes before I put the, put the weight on. There we have good solid steam, so now we'll just wait that 10 minutes and then we'll put the weight on. For my altitude and where I'm at here, I need to run this at 11 pounds. And since I have meat products in there with the hamburger and the bacon, I'm going to have to do this 11 pounds for 90 minutes. Okay, so we're just going to let that come down all by itself until we have no pressure in there and then we'll open it up and see what we ended up with. Okay, well it looks like we have no broken jars, although you never know until you pick them up off the bottom, but they do look good. All the jars look good. All the tops have already sealed. We have ourselves some canned calico beans. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching another video on the Jones Act Survival Channel. Uh, like I said, I mean the calico beans are easy. If you've never made them before, they're really good. Like I said, they're like a meal in themselves. And if you just want to cook them, well you can just cook them and you know how to do that by putting them in the slow cooker. And now you can go ahead and put them in the canner to save them for a later date. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching.